Hey guys, if you want to see um, my lip swatches of these new Melt lipsticks that I purchased and my thoughts on them, then I keep on watching. All right, guys, so I purchased six um, Melt lipsticks. Oh my goodness, this was a while back, a couple months ago. They were having this crazy amazing sale um, because typically their lipsticks, um, like their bullet lipsticks, are $19. Oh my gosh, that's expensive. Um, but there was a sale going where their older lipsticks were being sold for five bucks. Yes, you heard that correctly, for only five dollars. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Um, thank you also just um, to that subscriber who let me know, oh my goodness, you are a lifesaver. I was so happy. So the two formulations I bought uh, from their regular bullet lipsticks, um, some were matte and some were ultra matte. So like I mentioned in a previous video, even, even though I do enjoy wearing matte lipsticks, because I have so many lip lines, they really can emphasize emphasize them and not make them look so attractive. So to combat that, um, I'll generally put a gloss on top of them or I will try to wear kind of deeper shades where the lines aren't so obvious. Um, it's usually the lighter nude shades where the lines really kind of are super kind of obvious in your face type of thing. So I did try wearing one of the ultra matte lipsticks all day the other day. It was not as drying as I thought it would be. I mean, they're slightly drying, they're ultra matte, but not in, in a super uncomfortable way, in a, like a sort of um, way where it feels like your lips are being drained of all moisture, no. It was still pretty comfortable, um, not like MAC Cosmetics um, Mega Matte formula, like a Ruby Woo type of formula. Okay, that I cannot wear. My lips just start cracking, but this one was not like that. Um, but because it was a um, ultra matte formula and I tried out the shade, I think it's called Nude, but spelled N-O-O-D, um, the shade was just perfection, kind of the perfect light nude, um, kind of neutral light nude, but because it was so light, so pale, it uh, really did emphasize every single line I had. Um, but pairing it with the gloss kind of helped with that and it just kind of made it look perfect. Um, I find pairing um, regular matte lipsticks with glosses kind of solves that problem. And though it's not gonna be matte anymore, but the shade is just so pretty. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to let you know about what my experience was. Um, the pigmentation, the shade, everything about the shade and the pigmentation was good, how it wore was good, but just every line was kind of very evident. Um, but yeah, before we get into the swatch portion of the video, I gotta show you what they look like. And look at the lips on that one. So pretty, so, so pretty. And these are, and these are all the shades I purchased. Cannot wait.
Oh my gosh, guys, I love all these shades. As you can see, this shade, I think it's called It's Stupid Love, um, is super bright. It's like a bright electric neon pink, not for the faint hearted. It's probably the brightest lipstick I own. It's very like 1980s Pat Benatar, super electric pink. It's kind of like a radioactive pink, but so fun. And it actually, I think, goes with this kind of more muted, cool, bronzy eye look. So it is really fun, super vibrant, just like with the last shade, the orange shade, Bang Bang. That was also a super vibrant, radioactive, neon orange. And I really like that I got two super bright kind of statement lip colors. And then the other colors are super wearable, um, really gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And that one kind of terracotta orangey shade, I think it's called Mum. M-U-M. It makes me think of um, the Queen of England, Mum. But yes, so that is a very nice sort of perfect lip color for fall. I'm going to be rocking that probably all month long, all November. Um, love it. Um, and yeah, they're all just really pretty. The only shade is that shade Nude, where you can see all the lip lines very clearly, very distinctly, but just put a gloss on top of that. It's okay if you have a lot of lip lines like me. You can pair it with a gloss. But all these other ones, I, I don't need a gloss. Um, they're just so pretty, so fun. Um, and yeah, I love all of these shades. For instance, On The Go is kind of the, a perfect kind of beigey, um, medium nude shade and I think it's called old rose a perfect kind of your lips but better everyday shade um, It's just all around kind of amazing all the shades from melt cosmetics They are wearable yet super unique super different not like anything. I've really ever seen before um, I love melt cosmetics. I love supporting indie brands um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this lip swatch video and my kind of impressions of these Melt lipsticks. Um, I can't wait to try out some of their newer lipsticks, um, but I'll probably just wait till they go on sale too, because you really, five bucks, that is just so amazing. I'm sorry I keep reiterating this, but I was so happy about this. So yeah, hope this video was fun, helpful, so you could see what all the shades look like on my skin tone. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to purchase some colors that you were kind of thinking about and kind of pondering over. Um, so yeah, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.